Hello everyone, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to part three of our series looking at the new Matrix and Slytherin game that was actually made by Byzantine Games called Field of Glory 2, a game which is a turn-based tactical war game putting you in the shoes of a general during the rise of the Roman Republic, so 280 BC to 25 BC, the Punic Wars to the, uh, the fall of the Roman Republic in essence. Uh, with that being said, this is part three from a live stream from just a few days ago, so the audio that you'll hear after this is all from that live stream. This is very much still part of that first look video that I did a couple of days ago, so the stream was, I had played through one of the tutorials, I had played through part of one of the custom battles, but in this video you'll be seeing really my first serious attempt to win a large-scale battle. Things aren't going great. Our left flank is in trouble. Our right flank is doing well, but our left flank is in a bit of trouble. So we'll see how things play out in this video as we continue to play through our first attempt at winning this battle. I do think this is a really interesting game, and let me know your thoughts below. This feels like the kind of game that would be useful to do some historical discussion around. I don't know a ton about Roman history. I know some. I've read Gibbon. I've read a few other books. But I don't know a ton about Roman history other than sort of the timelines and the general rise of the empire and who people like uh, Caesar were. Um, but it would be interesting to maybe use this in a historical series, talking about a lot of these different battles, talking a lot about, uh, you know, what occurred during these eras and these kind of uh, engagements. So it might be really interesting to talk about that, uh, but let me know your thoughts below. With that being said, I'm going to turn it back over to myself uh, in the live stream and let you guys uh, kind of sit back, relax, and enjoy. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Broken and routing. Woohoo! I wish I could flank them this way. Oh, we can with these guys. Oh, not quite. Damn it! <laughs> well, they died fast. Um, those guys are routing. Man, these guys are holding firm too on the flank. Mr. Harhide, they're really experienced. They hang in there. They just don't. I guess they're not as deadly as I thought they would be. Um. Kind of figured they'd be, be stronger. Look at that. 43 to 13. And these guys are going to hit from like multiple directions. Alright, these guys are fragmented, so I think I'm going to hold them in place for now. So are our cavalrymen, actually. Nice. One of their units just dispersed. Well, those guys died quick. A little too aggressive with that cavalry, I suppose. Uh, these guys are fragmented, so I'm not going to have them attack. Unless, if they clear out, I wonder, do we have enough... No, not enough move points to launch a charge. Some of these infantry over here. Our left is starting to run, run low on infantry. We'll move some of our generals up as well. Shift some of these javelins over that way. Just to hold our left. The right, the center, we're doing well. The right's a little bit more muddled. But I think that'll end this turn. Alright. 
Dispersed, that's good. Routing, that's good. They're off the field. I'm assuming dispersed troops can't return. I have driven troops off the map when they weren't routed and they did return. Auto brakes and routing, that's always good to see. Those are Roman troops that are... I also think the flag seems to be an indicator of um, kind of the status of the troops. Romans are really forming up on their left. Charging into our cavalrymen, which are some of them are evading anyway, which I'm okay with. Okay, now we resolve the melee one at a time. There you go. Broke and routed, routed those uh, Roman troops. Nice. These Roman troops in the center, they're facing troops on three sides, and naturally they're getting devilishly handled. Same with these troops here. So we're losing quite a few of our troops routing from the field, but... My elephants... I know you guys are saying elephants are a paper tiger. They seem to be doing pretty well in this fight. Quite a bit of rallying going around. Alright, so that's the end of that turn. Only throwing javelins at them because I'm trying to keep the enemy running. And charge them. Infantry doesn't do well on the attack, it seems. Alright, let's go back to our elephants first, because that's where we're having some success. See if we can maybe break one of the units. into our flanking unit. Alright. Ah! So these guys are fighting multiple enemy units. They're disrupted. The enemy is not. So they lose heavily the breaking route. That's just awesome. should prefer if you fell back. I was kind of hoping I'd charge and you'd fall back, as the other guys did. Anyway. Um, these Trahari high out here. And these guys. 
holding up to pressure. Are all these guys pursuing? Every single one of them is pursuing. Well, that doesn't do me any good. I can't do anything with pursuing troops. <sighs> okay. Broke them. Very nice. Elephants are doing a good job breaking up the enemy formations, inflicting quite a few casualties. Ugh. The troops there got a bad run of it. Let's go hold him up with some skirmisher annoyances. Um, troops, our general's gonna ride over here. Hopefully he can help salvage the situation. He's basically running along the field yelling, Come with me! And uh, hopefully that will have some impact on these soldiers. Disrupted these guys. Harry High might be elite, but at least we just disrupted them. We've already engaged all of these guys. Turn them around so their rear isn't facing the enemy. I think I have any rallied troops over here. These guys are all running. They're running! Alright, so hopefully we can push these guys back. We've kind of, again, the, the fight's kind of broken into two, almost two separate engagements. Alright, where are we right now with uh, casualties? Casualty logs. The enemy's got 3,400 wound... Well, almost 35... Almost 3,500. But 3,400 wounded, 2,100 routing. That leaves them with... I can't do math. About a third of their force remaining. We've got 200 more routing than them, but about a 900 less wounded and 300 less killed. So, so far, at least in terms of the casualties, these are going okay. Not maybe as well as I'd like, but yes, you can fight the Battle of Zama. It is in the game. One of the things you do get a sense of in this game is quickly is, is how quickly things can go from decent to bad, and also how, first of all, how clunky these armies are to maneuver in general. But second of all, once battle is joined, how much worse things become. We just flanked our elephants and our elephants didn't lose a man. We flanked our elephants again! Ew! Don't fragment our elephants. We're attacking our elephant! No! Elephant, charge your way out of there! Great.
And our other elephants are about to be surrounded, too. Oh, no! I think our elephant just broke. They have been doing such splendid work. Oh, my God. Feels like everybody's running away. At least these two elephants here in the center. No, don't pursue. <sighs> okay. Well, this guy's not doing great. Can't even attack forward well. Don't pursue. Who's he in close combat with and why can't I do anything with him? In close combat, but I can't Issue orders? That's strange. Um. Thanks. Charge! That was dumb. They had, I think they had just become disrupted, too. Face the enemy. Maybe you can flank him. Yikes. 9 to 15? These guys are already routed. Just pursue them a little bit. Make sure they run off the field. Or maybe get dispersed. I'm okay either way. Alright, these guys probably we just finished breaking permanently. Why can't... Oh, he's pursuing. Alright, well our elephants are definitely losing some of their effectiveness. So I can't do anything with them. Where are they fight? Oh, they're routed. They're not fighting with anyone. Good God, forty six to. some nice damage on that charge. Alright, so then... Oh, 
was hoping our general would kind of escape. Not stay embroiled in this fight permanently. No desire to fight those remaining melee engagements with our own. Alright, these cavalrymen are going to try and come in on the flank. This infantry as well. These javelin men should probably fall back. Can't really do anything. And disrupted and routed and there go our elephants. These guys are just fragmented. They're not routing anymore, but we probably should leave them out of the engagement for a little bit to let them recoup a bit. Save your critiques to either win or lose. Well, you know, as any good sports caster would, would do. start over you're late well it's safe to say I'm losing that's that's maybe one one way of putting it um nice yeah I I'm not very good at this at the moment it's also interesting, these sprawling battlefields, you know, like, we're ahead in casualties. But these sprawling battlefields can be really difficult sometimes to keep it, like, to really get a sense of how things are going. Like, things are chaotic, that much is clear. Um, the fact that our elephants are breaking and running, I think that's going to be pretty bad for us. I think that's pretty clear as well. But understanding if we have any ability to kind of turn things around or, or what our chances of that seem it, it can be hard to really gather but I think it's safe to say that things have started to go very poorly indeed feels like our whole left flank is crumbling the right flank is engaged in heavy combat but I don't know how much longer they're going to be able to hold the line See, a lot of these guys are dispersing. Still got one or two elephants that are doing some damage to the enemy. And there goes one of our elephants. Dispersed! Get them to actually charge into this enemy flank. Of course, they're fragmented, so fragmented units can't charge. How are they holding firm under that? guys just won't die.
All right. These guys are routing, so we've got some cavalry in and around their flank. Um. Let's see. Oh wait, our general's back here. One of our generals. These guys, I think they'll probably, they might rally. Rear attack. Rear attack them too. Nice. General, we're coming to save you. Oh, there they go, running away. Why can't I retreat, General? Just let me retreat. I don't want you to die. Yeah, but you're going to. And they're going to run. Um. Yep. Should have... So one of those guys rallied. Nice. Keep doing work, elephant. We can't really unengage you. Still steady. I generally just leave my skirmishers out there until they die. That's maybe I'm learning a bad strategy. But it seems to be what I generally do. Alright. So. Yeah, that's going to be the end of this turn. Well, at least they have some units running from the field, too. Also appear to be rallying, maybe. We're certainly getting close. And they broke through my front and just drove two units back. Ugh. Nice. We're definitely outperforming that Roman Legion there. I think that one's about to might break. This one, too. <sighs> I will say, despite the one Roman... I don't know if it's a cohort or whatever, but despite that one unit breaking through our front, so far, at least, everything in the center and right has gone really well for us. 
Well, not so much there. Yeah, I don't know... I don't know if if Slytherin has any in intent to re-engineer some of their games to 64-bit on iPad. I doubt it, because of the amount of effort it would take, especially for games that have been out there for years. But I could be wrong. And we just routed, like, three Roman units. Nice. Nice. Well, I don't think we're going to win, but we might at least give them a little bit of a lesson here. And there they go. Dispersing. Disperse. All right, so there's several Roman units. Also, it's kind of hard to tell who's who at this point. I need you to hold your position. I was hoping to have you hold and then charge in another unit and flank them. Alright, you guys need to go this way to deal with this guy who's in our rear. Breaks and routes. Very nice. And a double charge. Right into that other Roman unit. Moving those javelins forward mainly to prevent them getting hit in the flank. I think these guys would break at some point. Sure, our elite for sure. Picks. Our general is routed, but he hasn't died, so at least that's good. These guys are pursuing. That's the, the real challenge with cavalry is they have a tendency to like to pursue. Trahari highs won't route. Damn it. Okay, so we'll have our general charge here too. Nice. He's really dealing these guys a blow almost all by himself. chance any of these guys rally here? Some of them are close, but I don't know if they'll rally before they run off the field. Alright, so we've certainly thrown the right flank into disarray. The le Well, it's all disarray, I guess. <sighs> the Trahari highs? Were they the tryhards? I'm 
happy that those Roman units dispersed. Another Roman unit dispersed. Nice. No, I've got some infantry left. We got a lot of infantry on my right flank. Red Duke. I also have a couple of elephants. great if they ran. Be real great. Outnumber the enemy, charge them, and die. And die. Ugh. Elephant here. Continue to devastate this Roman unit. The more they hold firm, the more they be in trouble. Thanks. Man, our infantry is not doing so hot. Nice. Can't charge routing infantry? Really? Can't command those guys at all, apparently. Are, are they routing themselves? No. Says they're steady. That's odd. <laughs> Trying to get rid of this. They're Hariai unit, and they keep doing worse to us than we can do to them. Elephants allow me to charge at anyone. Oh, these guys are fragmented, that's why. This battle right now we've lost 5,000 men routing good god but 
Casualties are actually relatively even because the enemies lost a lot more wounded or killed. 5,300 wounded or killed to them. That equals to our routing. 3,500 routing for them. That equals to roughly their casualties. So we're about one to one in terms of casualties. We started stronger, so we do have more man, men, men left. Um, we have lost 39 elephants. But, uh, yeah. Alright guys, um, I am going to save the game. I don't know how much more I can play of this tonight. I'm just not... This is a good experience in kind of learning the game, but I don't know if we're going to finish it uh, tonight. All right, guys, that's going to do it for part three of my look at Field of Glory 2, a new game out by Matrix and Slytherin Games made by Byzantine Games. The battle is a cluster by this point. It's just a clusterfuck. Everything is going crazy. Our left flank is evaporating. Our, you know, our generals kind of charged into the fray to try and help rescue things. Our right flank is, is slowly seeming to make some progress against the Romans, turning their flank and sort of isolating some Roman units, routing them, driving them back. Well, that being being said, guys, I think this is going to do it for this particular battle, uh, me showing it on YouTube. Uh, things have been a bit of a cluster, as I've already said. I am still learning the game at this point, and this was very much intended as just sort of a first look at Field of Glory 2. I definitely am going to continue playing it on this channel. I've actually really enjoyed my time with the game so far. It's got a very intuitive user interface. It's easy to pick up and play and kind of figure out how to move things around, how to engage the enemy, and all at the same time, it's incredibly difficult. It's a very challenging game. So I think my plan with this is for this video to be the final one from this battle, I think it's pretty clear we're going to lose even if we may delay things on the right flank. But what I will do is I will return to the series in a new battle uh, that allows me to demonstrate the fact that I've learned how to play a little bit better than previously. So certainly leave your thoughts, your comments, you know, if that really upsets you or whatever, let me know. Um, but I think rather than continuing this particular battle to a bit of a tedious finish and a bit of a tedious defeat, uh, I'm intending to uh, just start a new battle, if not in the next day or two, then relatively shortly, and play through it. Maybe even playing through the campaign games. So there's a series of linked battles, several different campaigns you can play through. We may end up doing that instead. Uh, but as always, guys, leave your thoughts below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know uh, how you feel about my approach. And uh, yeah, but uh, that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you've enjoyed the uh, series. I hope you've enjoyed the look into Field of Glory 2. And until next time, guys, this is the Historical Gamer saying thank you for watching, and as always, I'm out.